this one is I'm gonna check it out. Let's see uh, if we can do some damage here. So let's uh, let's go to career mode. Let's see if we can't pick ourselves. A really good contract. So let's see. We got the paddock, old nook cottage, six hundred and seventy pounds. I was mowing this the other day, and uh, mower just broke down on me. So we're gonna have to finish up. So we're gonna use the night. Let's go ahead and knock this one out. Let's go ahead and confirm the contract. Let's go. And let's mow. Nice, nice little garden here. Grass is definitely overgrown, so we're going to have to cut it down. We're going to cut it about, uh, let's go as short as we can. Let's do about two inches and one eighth, two and one eighth. I think that'll be perfect for this. And we do have soggy conditions, as you can tell. Right, let's go ahead and do a little walk around. Make sure we pick up all the uh, all the stuff. It is wet. Like I mentioned, it's wet. But it's okay. Because we're going to get it done. Make sure we pick up all the trash. Picking up trash. Picking up... Um, debris or whatever you know toys dog toys kids toys um, usually it takes about four to five minutes to kind of walk the property depending on how big how large the property is we just got to walk the property and uh, make sure there's nothing that our mower can cut or anything that could break the blades on our mower so let's continue to walk the property what is this see i don't know what we got sticks we got sticks and stuff sticks and stones will break my bones but words will never hurt me that's another stick what is this uh oh somebody left there looks like a something he scoops soup out of a ladle is that what it's called a ladle I don't know what a ladle is doing out here. What is this over here? Dog toy, maybe? Oh, okay. Little car. Kids. Kids car. So there's a, there's tons of obstacles. There's We got uh, patio furniture, yard furniture, which is um, always a pain in the butt to try to mow because you got to edge, weed eat around this. And then, of course, with all the uh, plants and flowers and flower beds, you got to be real careful that you don't, blow all the debris into uh the flower bed into the mulch because it's a pain in the butt to try to get it out with a blower yo what's up aside bro you better cut my lawn properly boy i'll be watching <laughs> hey man that's that that's typical of a customer to do man i'm used to it i'm used to it my man i'm gonna i'm gonna take care of you right here bro i'm gonna make sure i don't i don't mess up her property bro we're gonna leave it in a better condition than it is when we got here so we got i got you i got you bro we're gonna we're gonna take care of you man we're gonna take care of you my man ain't no thing but a chicken wing bro i got you my man we got you we got you we got you here we go let's go you got a nice property over here man love it love it love it I'm gonna take care of you, bro. But uh, I'm gonna. I do recommend that you go weekly, instead of uh, every other week, just because I mean this is is it's ridiculous, bro. The grass grows way too fast, my man. Let's go ahead and uh, let's lower this deck. Boom, bam. Let's go, bro. Let's go, my man. Tomorrow they releasing the console version on PS4 and Xbox. Oh, oh, I didn't know there was a PS4 version of this. Nice, bro. Well, I already got it on PC, so. But you know what, man? This is actually pretty relaxing, oddly satisfying. Because, you know, that Street Fighter, man, it tenses you up, man. I'm super tense after after playing Street Fighter. My, uh, 
my shoulders are all tense neck gets tense because it's a it's an intense game so this one's kind of like all right take a chill chill out for a little bit and uh get your mind off of off of the uh the streets for a minute you know what i'm saying and then we'll go back to the streets and we we start kicking butt again bro you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna be very careful that i don't take out any of your uh your plants here bro i'm watching very carefully my man very carefully you're one of my best customers Assad. we definitely don't want want to miss anything up man you're, you're one of my best customers and uh, you, you know if I do br break a sprinkler head or take out any of your uh, plants bro you know I'm good to pay for it man I'll replace it at no charge and that that goes with the um, with the spr sprinkler heads my man not complaining about your property but you definitely have a lot of um you got a lot of toys and stuff in the yard man i i probably would um advise that you you pick up you know toys and debris and stuff uh before we come out i didn't see uh a lot of dog poop today so hey man you're good i'm not gonna charge you the uh twenty dollars extra for a uh, poop removal or, or poop scoop up know what i'm saying the reason I'm cutting it this short, my man, is because you, you are on a bi-weekly or every other week schedule. And this type of grass with the irrigation and you fertilizing and, and treating it, I do highly recommend that you, uh, you go weekly, my man. That's the only reason I'm cutting it a little short. Now, this type of grass is okay cut short. But uh, if you want... I could start putting you on a weekly uh, mowing schedule, which I recommend just because you do feed and treat your uh, grass. And that being said, we definitely could, uh, we could cut it a little bit higher for you. No problem. Those are uh, your mama's. Oh, your mama threw all those things on the floor. Well, I just recommend that, uh, next time just uh try to pick up a lot of those stuff I, I just don't the thing is i just don't want to run over them especially because I, I found a car and uh some other stuff and i, I just don't want to break break any of your stuff you know what i'm saying especially it's really hard to uh to see uh things that are buried in the grass especially when it's this tall i just don't want to break any of your your stuff out here and of course I don't and I don't want to bend up my blades either so yo what's up Toki Moon what's up brother man what's up Seedle man we're just uh, taking a break from from the streets cuz I got to make some money I got to mow Assad's property I got to keep my customers uh, happy. How's it going, fellas? Y'all doing all right? Yo, what's up, Big Dave? What up, bruh? What's up, Big Dave? My man, Dave. Big Dave. So I'm doing uh, my perimeter cuts first. I might just have to uh, do the box cut, which means I'll be mowing just going in circles pretty much and the sections are small enough and then I'll probably do my lines but I kind of like to go around the perimeter about twice maybe three times bust out a scar and get more money oh a skag <laughs> yeah bro I'm, I'm actually uh, trying to work my way up to a skag and maybe another employee so I'm looking at the uh, skag tiger cat two zero turn right now I'm using a night mower gets the job done now it is struggling a little bit um, on this tall grass 
and it's wet so you already know those two combinations makes mowing a little bit hard it's gonna take me a minute but that's why I charge what I charge as well I charge a premium price for properties like this with obstacles uh, especially when they're bi-weeklies they have flower beds you got to flowers plants you got to watch out shrubs you don't want to mess up and uh, cut any of those down so there is another simulator called winter survival simulator that is awesome to look at I might have to check that out me and David were talking about getting the uh, the police simulator which sounds pretty fun. You, I guess you get to pull people over, give them tickets, uh, maybe arrest people. I don't know. I got to look into that. That sounds like a fun simulator to play too. So, <laughs> being a cop. All right, let's take a let's take a look here real quick. We're about twenty eight percent. We'll keep mowing. We're not doing too bad, y'all. Definitely gonna have to take me a lunch break. A good tactic would be using the loan to pay for all advertising. You know what? Marketing, marketing is key, though, man. You know that. Equipment is shit. To uh, to be honest. If you did want to start a, a lawn care business, it's really not that hard. You, all you need is a push mower, a blower, and a string trimmer, a weed eater, or a uh, whack whip or whatever they call it in uh, another country. I think they call it a whip, whip whacker or something like that. And I don't, something like that. We call it a weed eater or a line trimmer. Weed whacker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> weed whacker. <laughs> That's what it's called. Weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man weed whacker so what was I calling it whippersnapper make sure we don't run into the patio furniture there and it's still raining out here guys so it is it's tough to try to cut tall and wet grass trimmer weed whacker weed whip weed eater etc weed whip there you go the way my grandpa calls it the weeda weeda uh oh, I'm overloading this dang engine, man. This engine, I don't think this engine is capable of cutting cutting tall, wet grass like this. And that's what usually happens when you're um, underpowered. The weeda weeda. It's really hard to cut wet, tall grass in Texas. I could only speak for Texas. There's a lawn care company or truck or crew like at every block that's all you see over here is lawn care companies I mean there's a lot of properties and a lot of grass to be cut but marketing is key here you got Facebook marketing you got um, Google my Google my Google business and then you got websites and then of course a lot of it is uh, word of mouth and you could also uh, do door hangers so you'll you just make uh, door hangers advertising your company put a phone number website on it and uh, just go find a neighborhood that you like and start hanging doors uh, door hanger advertisements and that works yeah, that yeah, David. That's the Spanish way. There you go. That's the Spanish way. Wida wida, wida wida. Bye. What was the tallest grass you have ever cut in your life? My tall, the tallest grass that I've ever cut was right above my knee, I guess. Which is I don't know, uh, maybe three feet, three foot, three feet of grass, and that's pretty tall. Usually, we'll cut it down with. Um, Especially if it's thick, if it's just weeds, real thick weeds, we'll cut it, we'll try to cut it down with the uh, weed whacker first. Then, uh, depending on how dirty the property is, I'll use like a push mower. 
and put it at the very at the tallest height um, that you could put it on and then uh, use that because you'll miss upper blades no doubt like you're guaranteed to miss up your mower your engine's going to stress so you want to use a mower that's probably not not your maybe like a commercial mower i don't know some people may think differently use your commercial commercial mower forgot this little piece right here but it does take a long time especially when somebody has tall grass make sure we don't leave ruts because we with this uh yard being so soaked we definitely don't want to leave ruts so we got to go really slow when we make our three-point turn If I see a yard with grass that tall, I keep driving and block the customer's number. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't like to. Uh, a lot of people don't like to mess around with with tall grass, and I don't either. They make great videos, for sure. But, um, but then you got to charge a premium price, especially when the grass is overgrown. You you have to charge a a premium premium price. So what I would charge, let's say, a yard that's already maintained and uh, is at least on a bi-weekly service, you know, they get they get a fair price. But if it's a one-time cut or if it's a overgrown cut, like, um, like I mentioned before, the three feet tall grass and you know it's gonna you're, you're gonna be in, you're gonna be there double cutting triple cutting maybe even cutting it four times so you'll be there for a minute and i'll charge uh, a, a lot more for that so but since this is assad's property and uh he's a homeboy i'm gonna i'm not gonna charge him the premium price so he's actually getting a really good deal Usually I don't come out and mow on when it's raining like this, but I made an exception today. Because he is my uh, coach for Street Fighter. He's uh, the sensei. So I give him a good deal. Let me see. Uh, I think this game, it has your lawnmower in it. Oh, it does. Yeah, it has a skag. It does have the skag, but I have to... I have to make money to unlock that. Did you disable your stars? No, I, I should still have stars. Is it not working? Thanks again. Are my stars not working? Zero radius. You see how it's... You see how this turns? It's not, it's not so much a zero turn. Oh, you can't send stars. Oh, no. Get mowing. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Got to make my customers happy. Uh-oh. I saw it's going to be one of them custom customers. One of them complainers. Uh-oh. Uh oh, no! He does pay right. He pays good, so I'm not. I'm not gonna trip. I'm not gonna trip. He does pay good money. Big balling. I gotta make sure I get every blade of grass. I got you, homeboy. I got you, my man. We got it. We got it. Now, if I had a striping kit, I'd leave you some nice stripes right here, my man. I'm really impressed to see you mow with detail. <laughs> That's the way you, that, you know, you, you, you just got to, you just got to, it's a skill, bro. It's a skill, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to just mow like a maniac, you know? run over flowers 
uh, get into flower beds, rut, rut the, uh, put ruts in the lawn. Especially when you're a premium uh, customer like yourself. We got to do it right, my man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about quality. Professionalism. Every once in a while, we'll, we'll rut a lawn or whatever, but, you know, we, we'll we fix it. We'll make it better. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, I'll have an, uh, an employee run over and break a sprinkler head, but we'll fix it, man. We'll fix it right on the spot, my man. Right on the spot. You have OCD, man. <laughs> my customer's going to pay me big mucks to uh, mow a, a property like this, this size. Because I'm not cheap, y'all. I'm not. This isn't a, a, a cheap lawn, you know what I'm saying? Professional uh, quality, professionalism, dedication. Welcome to Eclipse Lawn Service. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Appreciate it, my man. Yeah, we don't play over here, bro. We don't play. If you want, uh, if you want somebody to play around with your property, you know, get Joe Schmo from down the street. Not only uh, will he run over your plants like this. Look, you see how careful I am around your flower bed like this, my man? Boom. See, nice and clean. Now you and your woman can sit, sit on that bench, drink some hot coffee, some tea. My prices aren't cheap, so, you know, I, I got to make sure I do a heck of a job, a good job. Make sure I don't miss miss anything I gotta make sure I get every blade of grass and if you want I could always do little uh, shapes and stuff like that if you want if you wanted me to I could even draw your name on there on your lawn I've done that before for a couple of customers I even drew happy face we do anything man so on this one I think we'll just go back and forth knock this one out Maybe I can be a dirty cop. Oh, you got the police simulator? Sweet, brother. This is Assad's property. He's looking out the window. He's that customer making sure I'm not jacking around on his property. This is really nice property, man. Got a really nice property, my man. And it's, it's a pleasure to be mowing it too, man. Awesome. Thanks for your business. Like I said, we're here to uh, give you the utmost quality in lawn service. Eclipse Lawn Care. Oh man, I'm I'm missing a lot of spots. Of course, it's, it's kind of hard when the rain is getting in your in your eyes, so it's it's kind of hard to see just because of the rain. But we got it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get. We're gonna get it done. And it's gonna be perfect, man. You're gonna be satisfied with the work that we do. So we are leaving uh, clumps of grass, though. But I think we'll, we'll be okay. We'll just get the blower, and we'll kind of disperse the clumps. And I think it'll be okay, my man. All right, so we're about 80% 80, 80 done. We're almost done, man. We're almost done. All right, let's go ahead and do our three-point turn here and make our lines. Oh, you got a nice water well here, my man. Very cool. Very cool. Trying to be careful, guys, that I don't get into your flower bed. But you know what, man? I'm a pro. I'm a professional, man. I'm a pro, bro, when it comes to this. 
You know how in Street Fighter you got Grandmaster, bro? I'm a Grandmaster at this, bro, when it comes to lawn care. Grandmaster, baby. You know what I mean? I need a wider turnaround, so let's go ahead and make a wider turnaround. Make it make stuff easy. Block them. Yeah, I'm going to have to block them. No promotions. Don't be promoting your stuff on Twitch or on Facebook unless I give you permission. You know what I mean? I'm going to pick up this stripe right here. We we missed we missed it on the way. Uh, we missed earlier. All I know after mowing this thick grass, I'm gonna definitely need to take me a lunch break. I don't know. I might have to ask my customer if they got any water because I actually forgot. I just ran out of water. You got to stay hydrated out here in the heat. Even though it's raining, it's humid. We'll see if uh, the customer can uh, stop staring me through the window and bring me something to drink. Wouldn't mind a cold iced tea, cold sweet tea, ice cold sweet tea. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Mark is a pimp in Dallas. <laughs> Getting all them chickens. Bro, I had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich today from Burger King bro it was fire my man it was fire that chicken was on fire that chicken was on fire thank you very much Well, we're almost done. 93%, man. Let's do it. Because I'm ready to get paid. I got to get paid, bruh. Damien. <laughs> Dragon punch that tractor. <laughs> hey, man. I can't, man. This this is my money maker. Hadouken. But I will Hadouken this grass right here. I'm about to Hadouken. Let's go. I think we just got this little area here and then uh then i'm gonna get paid gotta get my cheddar gotta get what's mines i don't think we destroyed any any flowers today so we're good it's a good day now i did leave some ruts in the ground but you know that's uh that's ex expectable i guess when uh it's raining like this who are you talking to, David? If I ate a, if I made a video, video of me eating them, are you talking to me, my man? Let's go. We're about to get paid. Two more stripes, and we're about to get paid. Got to collect. Hopefully, uh, customer left left my cheddar underneath the doormat. If not, I'm gonna have to go knock. I'm gonna have to go knock on his door. Like, man, you know what? Yard was a beast today. Because I did come out here when it when it was raining. And I don't come out when it rains. So, But I made it an exception. Alright, so there it is. Alright, let's go back to the truck. We'll be careful. Make sure we don't run into any of your uh, flowers here. Sweet, bro. Go ahead and back it up. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, come on. And we're there. Let's go. We got it. There you go, my man. Now I got to collect. Where's my money? Got to get my cheddar, boy. It's all good. Are you satisfied with it, bro? Come in for some Gatorade or hot chocolate, my man. I'll take the Gatorade, bro. It's too dang hot for hot chocolate right now, bro. Appreciate it, man. Let me get my, get my cheddar so I could be on my way.
560 pounds, bro. What does that translate into uh, USD? I don't know, but that's a lot of money, bro. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out here. I'm going to go get lunch now, bro, because I got paid. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.